Welcome back, another episode, Down the Rabbit Hole from Chicago Fire Season 13, Episode 5, serves as a reminder that not all television shows are winners. Even excellent series have bad episodes, and this one isn't dreadful, but it's undoubtedly among the worst of the season. The reason for this is that the plot on which it bases the majority of its intensity was already waning, and the events here drive it into utterly annoying territory. As Stella Kidd and Kelly Severide investigate an unscrupulous trucking company that seems to be behind several accidents, down the rabbit hole follows Stella as she tries to persuade a driver to flip on her boss. Christopher Herman enlists Engine's newest member to assist him in his most recent campaign to acquire new radios. However, Violet Mikami and Sam Carver make up the majority of the plot which makes the audience want that they would either reconcile or simply move on. A stellar ride mission is featured in Chicago Fire. For example, viewers recently witnessed Kelly Severide's departure to conduct arson investigations in Chicago Fire Season 13, Episode 3, All Kinds of Crazy. This is one of his best stories. Similar guidelines are followed in this episode, but Stella Kidd and Severide are involved in an accident case rather than an arson case. Since she is the one who alerts Severide to the trucking company and suggests that the driver Lisa be sought as a witness, it is actually more of a Stella narrative. Nevertheless, this isn't one of the week's more noteworthy examples. The audience are simply waiting for Stella and Severide to overcome a few obstacles before ultimately defeating Maddox, the trucking company president, who is clearly the villain from the minute he arrives at the most recent accident scene acting aggressively. Additionally, those speed bumps are predictable, Lisa is afraid of losing her job if she speaks up. The case cannot be pursued by the Department of Transportation. Near the end, when everyone is summoned to Maddox's building and Stella discovers Lisa's son Michael is hurt following a fight, there is the most suspense. Even still, it would be Stella's chance to finally express her feelings to the boy. Chief Dom Pascal, however, is able to capture Stella in a single, apt sentence when he informs Severide that she is a hell of a pain in the ass. It's funny that he said that so directly to her husband but he's not incorrect either. Carver and Violet reach new lows due to the Chicago fire. The disaster that Chicago fire has created with Violet and Carver stands in stark contrast to Stella Ride's stable marriage. There is no doubting that the entire Violet, Carver, and Tory plot is exhausted and now pushing the boundaries of believability, regardless of whether fans like them as a couple. The extent to which this episode disappoints Violet and Carver is disheartening particularly considering how powerful through the skin was for Violet in Season 13, Episode 4. Carver eventually learns about the text Violet texted him earlier in Season 13, which is the main plot point. Carver originally states that he would not attend Violet's birthday celebration, but he later changes his mind and shows up at Molly's nevertheless, only for Tori to enter the pub. This demonstrates that Carver still cares for Violet. Carver is by no means an innocent party because he handles the entire thing poorly and offers both women flimsy justifications. However, he is also able to retrieve the text from Violet because of Ritter and he is as hesitant to approach his girlfriend about it. Making budgetary savings, Kylie also assisted Herman in purchasing new radios. Is Robin was her. He was Batman. Together, they took on the system. For more videos, subscribe.